Hi guys, I'm Sam from Pharmacy Mentor and in this module we're going to learn about how we as pharmacists can delegate tasks more effectively. The ability to delegate well is such an important asset for a pharmacist and leader of a team because it can significantly improve productivity in all facets of work. However, mastering delegation isn't easy. It's a skill that requires practice, experience and time and is something that many pharmacists struggle with, particularly in the early stages of their career and when starting in a new working environment. Delegation is an essential part of our work. If we can delegate most of the tasks that do not require our input, our work life will improve remarkably. In this module, I'm going to show you a system I've developed called the RID system, RID meaning getting rid of tasks, which when implemented will always help you delegate more successfully. Let's break down why this learning is important for you, your colleagues, your patients and the organisation you work for. Delegating more of your tasks to others will free up your time in the pharmacy, reduce your workload and allow you to get things done quicker. It's a leadership skill that can take you further personally and professionally. By delegating to your staff, it shows that you trust them to do the job and gives them more of a sense of responsibility. You're upskilling your team and improving overall performance. In a well-delegated team, workplace productivity is improved and this ultimately leads to better patient satisfaction. And finally, your organisation is going to love you. You'll be seen as a leader amongst your team, which might open up other doors for you within the company. Before I get into the details of the RID system, it's worth mentioning this first. If you're going into a new place of work and want to begin delegating quickly and effectively, the best way to do so is by getting to know your staff on a personal level first. It's so much easier to delegate a task to a dispenser when you already have a relationship with them because a level of trust has already been established. In the notes to this video is a fantastic reference from CarnegieCoach.com which gives you guidance on how you can build bonds with your staff quickly. The first part of the RID system is to explain the reasons why the task you're delegating is important. Too often a task is given to a dispenser with no background to it and therefore it is less likely to be adhered to and seen more of an order rather than a meaningful task. For example, let's say you want to delegate the job of completing an annual complaints report for your pharmacy to Jen, one of your dispensers. Instead of saying, hi Jen, I need you to create this report for me please, this needs doing, then that needs doing, etc, etc. You could say, hi Jen, I have this task that needs doing. Now, the reason behind it is that as part of our clinical governance requirements for pharmacy, we need to submit all of our complaints to the NHS, etc, etc. Jen might turn around and ask more about what clinical governance is, which is great. She's clearly interested in the job, happy to learn more, and purpose is being built around it. Once you've explained the reasons behind the task, you need to give them specific instruction on how to complete it. So going back to the previous example, once you've explained to Jen the reasons the report needs doing, you can say something like, to get this done, you need to go on this site and collate all of the information on a Word document as such, etc, etc. Write the steps down on a piece of paper if Jen finds it easier and make sure each action has been understood. And finally, you need to give them a deadline to get the task done. By giving them a time frame, it gives the person more responsibility for the task. So once you've checked their understanding and the actions involved, you could say something like, Great, so I was thinking that this could be done for 3pm on Thursday, which gives us time to look over it. How does that sound? By making the deadline a question, again you're giving them more responsibility and ownership over the task and you can both come to an agreement together. One more thing to add here is the importance of trusting them to do the work and making sure they know you're there for support only. Don't keep checking up or peering over them to make sure they're doing it right. Let them get on with it and just be there on hand if they have any questions. 
Delegation mastery is no easy feat. It requires practice, dedication, and a commitment to make it a successful habit, but applying the principles above can help you achieve this. When you know how to delegate more effectively, your work becomes more enjoyable, your team will be more productive as a whole, and you'll be developing such an important personal skill that can be transferred into all areas of your life. What problems do you face when delegating to others? Do you have any tips about how to delegate better? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below and if you found this module useful, it would be really great if you could share it with your colleagues. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.